What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me, I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Today we're gonna to talk about another wireless router setting that may increase your Wi-Fi speeds. You've probably seen our videos on MTU settings, DNS settings, and port forwarding. While those settings can help your Wi-Fi speeds, there's one more additional setting that we need to talk about, and this is your Wi-Fi channel selection. And there are many factors that come into play when it pertains to your Wi-Fi signal and speeds, like router settings, nearby interference, whether you live in an apartment building or a standalone home, even the location of your microwave, and of course, your wireless router's location. But here's the good news. There's almost always a way to fix slow Wi-Fi speeds, and that's why you're watching this video. So let's get to it. And to prove this one setting will change your Wi-Fi speeds, we're gonna show you our speed test at the end of this video. And of course, you can always fast forward to the speed test, but then you're gonna miss the information on how to set this up. If you've ever gone to Wi-Fi router settings, you've probably noticed channels, and you're probably thinking, what are they for? And when you're looking at these channels, it's probably set to auto, so you never really give it a second thought. It's just automatic. But the question is, should it be automatic or should you pick a channel? Well, you're gonna find out. So if you're looking at these channels, there are definitely channels that are faster than others. But don't go and change those channels yet. Hear me out. We're gonna keep this really simple. Your Wi-Fi router has 11 channels. The three best channels are one, six, and 11. Any of those channels between those numbers overlaps. And these overlaps cause interference. And there are two types of interference, co-channel interference and adjacent channel interference. And the channel interference that you want to avoid is adjacent channel interference, which means every client and access point on these overlapping channels talks over each other. And this in turn crushes your throughput, resulting in slower Wi-Fi speeds. Channels 1, 6, and 11 are considered non-overlapping channels. However, when picking 1, 6, or 11, you will have to share the channels with other networks. And this is called co-channel interference. And this means every client and access point on the same channel competes for talk time. So what you're looking for in channels 1, 6, and 11 are the fewest networks present, which results in the least interference and faster Wi-Fi speeds. And there's one more type of interference called non-Wi-Fi interference. A good example is a microwave. And remember, when you pick 1, 6, or 11, those channels could be congested, especially if you live in an apartment. But if you live in a house in the middle of nowhere, you're good to go. So if you want maximum throughput and minimal interference, pick channel 1, 6, or 11. They are by far the best choice. But how do you know which one to pick? Well, the first thing you should do is download a Wi-Fi analyzer. Walk around your home, and check the signal strength. And a Wi-Fi analyzer will even check the channels. And by using the Wi-Fi analyzer, you can see which channels are best to use and ones that are best to avoid. And one more way to figure out the best channel, either one, six, or 11, is if you have two laptops, you can do a file transfer between both laptops and test the speeds. So first thing you wanna do is set your router to channel one, perform the transfer test, watch the speeds, then repeat with channel six and then channel 11. Whichever one has the fastest speeds is the winner. But most Wi-Fi analyzers will do a great job determining which channel to choose. Just remember guys, channel one, six, or 11 are your best choices. And like I promised guys, here's our speed test for channels one, six, and 11. And the best channel for our network was channel 11. And remember for your situation, channel one or six could be better than 11. It's all situational. And I hope this video helps you understand how channels work and how channels can increase your Wi-Fi speeds. Once again, guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I answer all questions. And while I know there's a lot more information about channels, I wanted to keep this simple. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you found this video helpful, please give a thumbs up and share it. And of course, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.